He has definitely accomplished a lot here. Kevin Blackwood, of course, his story is very inspiring. Involved in a, a car accident that put he and Daniel Garcia out of action for a very long time back in 2019. To see him recover the way he has and to, to thrive the way he has in professional wrestling has been nothing short of amazing. Well, not only that, you want to talk about inspirational when it comes to Kevin Blackwood. Kevin Blackwood upended his life. He bet on himself, moving from Buffalo, New York, all the way across the country to Los Angeles, California. There were no guarantees. There never are in the world of professional wrestling. And in the past year, Kevin Blackwood has been the undisputed breakout star of West Coast independent professional wrestling. Continuing that train, rolling on again, SPK. Absolutely, the aesthetic crippler has definitely made a name for himself. And in this match, you're going to see exactly what brought him to the dance and what's got people talking about him so darn much. All right, now a little bit of technical wrestling here. Both of these athletes so sound. And they're quick. They're quick and they can hit you. And right now, SPK has the head of Blackwood cinched in, but Blackwood able to get it to dodge. Headlock takeover, head scissors from SBK. Tit for tat between these two technical wizards. I like how you put the extra, you know, inflection on the wizards. You got it, it's magical, the wizards. It's Halloween after all, sir. That's right, look at these costumes out in the fans tonight. Look, look, at, look, look at Kevin Blackwood. Um, yes, he's in the spirit. Look at our costumes for Pete's sake. And there's a Swedish chef out in front. He looks kind of horrifying with a mask under the facial hair, but I get what he's going for. There's a Mick Foley there. There's an Orange Cassidy. I have a feeling the most horrifying thing is going to be the punishment these athletes take to each other in just a few moments' time. Oh, I saw a kid with a great, you know, uh, you know, public domain golden ninja thing out in the crowd earlier. Nice kid. Look at SBK against the ropes here. Neither of these men giving an inch here. Kevin Blackwood giving us a tick to the gun show. That's right. Oh, anything you can do, I can do better, maybe? Yes, neither of these men giving an inch. I don't know if it's ego, sheer will, or something in between, but neither of these athletes staying down. All right, it's Kento's turn this time around. But look at that. Oh! Blackwood with the extra momentum coming off the ropes there. That's what it took to take SBK down. Just, just as I say that, Kento finally falls. Blackwood went for that double foot stomp, but it was a little too early. Leapfrog's up. Was thinking hip toss, but SBK had other ideas. Ducks under the clothesline. Oh, wow. Do you see the force that that drop kick gave him? He yeah, banged his head on the back of the turnbuckle there. Kevin Blackwood was set from the middle of the ring to the corner of the ring. The elevation of that was insane. And I hope you're seeing why SBK is the sensation that he is in Dragon Gate. Rhythmic kicks here, rhythmic stomps, shall oh. I say, to Kevin Blackwood. And another drop kick takes the aesthetic crippler out of the ring. You took the words out of my mouth. I thought he's got a good sense of rhythm. He's going to need a hell of a lot more than rhythm to take down Kevin Blackwood and now take it to the outside. Trying to find Kevin Blackwood. He should not be very hard to find with that purple hair. That's right. They're all dressed very brightly here. You got SBK rocking the yellow and black. And these fans are getting a treat. We saw in the opening contest that tag team match that dominated the front row. And now these folks are getting another treat. Right here on the outside. Not a lot of room between the ring and the front row. So not a lot of room for error here. Never, never say the procedure is that it doesn't have fan from the action. They are absolutely right to say these athletes have to be so careful, so meticulous, even more so than we know they already are. But a chop just leveling SBK. You see the expression of Kevin Blackwood. He is angry. And you do not want to be around Kevin Blackwood when he is angry. No, I've talked to Kevin Blackwood, you know, backstage before his match and after his match. And he's a nice guy. He's very chill down to earth. But guy, when that bell rings, you gotta look out because he can stretch you six ways to Sunday. And look at this face to face. That, that's like something out of a, a comic book movie poster between these two. And, and, and with the type of professional wrestling these two bring to the table, it might as well be cosmic. Oh, that smile off SBK, that fell off pretty quick. I think it was knocked off by those crushing forearms from Kevin Blackwood. Oh. And, and calling the aesthetic crippler for no reason, literally crippling SBK here. There we go, that's trading blows. Neither man really giving an inch here. No one's taking a knee. They gotta reset and figure out, oh! 
figure out what it's gonna take. Ooh. Oh, look at Kevin Blackwood nursing the ear there. Ouch. Ouchies, the ear is, there's no, no amount of crunches you can do can protect against an ear shot. Oh, such a delicate, sensitive part of the body here. SBK now in a world of hurt, but not going down. Not without a fight, at least, mm. Zane. Yeah, these guys are taking what they're getting and trying to throw it back with gusto. And look at the war cry Ouch. from Blackwood and SBK. Man, I'm getting, I'm getting a headache watching this, Jordan. Yeah, how do you think Blackwood and SBK feel? My stars. Neither man giving an inch here, Brian. Nah, if I'm not mistaken, I think Kevin's got a smile on his face. Yeah, Kevin Blackwood feeds off of this punishment like a shark smelling blood in the water. The more you hurt him, the angrier, and then the more effective he gets. But SBK ducks that spin kick. Kevin Blackwood around, lands the foot stop. It might not be from the top rope like he usually uses to put his opponents away, but no less effective. You see SBK clutching the ribs. Sometimes it's the small moves that get you. I was wondering what it was going to take, maybe some big, impactful, blowy move to knock them down on their backs. All it took was a little double leg takedown. Yeah, that was not a big, imp impactful, blowy move. But oh. that might be a big, and I mean b -b -b big boot from Blackwood. Can we call that a Blowy move? Come on. A Blowy big boot, Blackwood. Oh. SBK Buffet. here. Buffet, we'll finish the beast. There it is, thank you, yes. thank you, Brian. Somebody put that in the hashtag. SBK in a world of hurt right about now. Kevin Blackwood measuring him for that kick here. That was nice of him to sit him up like that. Yeah, it's not going to be so nice in a few seconds. Oh, he's he's kind of waiting for it. Come on, let's get this over with. Come on now. SBK knows what's coming. Taking his licks like a real man. Ah. Oh. Man, you got to believe at some point SBK is going to want the receipt. You know that, right? Oh, of course. I think Kevin Blackwood knows that. It's not going to stop him oh. from hitting the move. And, and, and look at this absolute madman SBK as if one weren't enough. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh. You're going to get two, three, four. No. Oh, fifth time was not, in fact, the charm. SBK suckered him in here. Great strategy from Kento. They make him tough out in Dragon Gate. They make him tough, and they make him smart. No, Michinoku driver. And he drove him down to the canvas. Look at Kevin Black with teeth gritted. Trying to, trying to feel mm. some sense, wriggle some sense back into his fingertips I'll tell there. you what, though. SBK couldn't capitalize. That would have been a great time for a cover, but he's too rocked to really make a difference and get over on the top of him. Yeah, but he is back up to his feet first, Zane, and that is so crucial. Oh, look at that. Nice block by Blackwood yeah, there. Kevin Blackwood is not going to go on the shoulders of SB Kento lest he get hit with that signature match-ending key crusher. He knows he cannot end up on those shoulders. That's right. If you ever sense that someone's picking you up, just gotta try and sandbag. You gotta block, you gotta hook the leg. Do anything you can to avoid getting yourself in that predicament. Yeah, Kevin Blackwood in a hell of a predicament right now after those chops. You talking about receipts! Ouch. Kevin won there to SBK. Yeah, ouch. You know what? I feel like we've seen enough big chops just in the first few matches yeah, for my I, I, lifetime. I feel, like, I feel like Blackwood and SBK saw the opening match and said, all right, Eddie, Eddie Edwards, we're going to give you a run for your money here. And hey. run for his money this is. Good Lord. I mean, he's tattooing Blackwood. He's already covered in him. He's going to have a few welts under that ink. If SBK has anything to say about it, he's trying. He's trying to muster it up. Oh, my God. And Kevin Blackwood is a tattoo artist in his quote unquote mm. real life. Maybe uh, transitioning some of that into this matchup with these handprints onto SBK back and forth. No, folks, it is not Groundhog Day, it is Prestige Roseland 4. These guys are taking everything that the others dishing out and they're begging for more. Look at that here. SBK sends Blackwood against the ropes, was thinking Michinoku Driver again, no. but instead gets caught with the German suplex, nice the bridge. bridge. Oh man, that could have been it right there. Yeah, the toes were up, but it was not enough for the free count. This could be Kevin's chance here. He's probably got the best opening, laying in something devastating. Look at him, look at him tapping those feet. Once again, those Amdrag-esque kicks. 
He's feeling himself now. Oh! Yeah, but SB Kendrick able to get on dodge. German suplex of his own! Once again, the bridge was not enough for the three count. That's it. Like, like I said earlier, anything you can do, I can do better. These guys are trading, literally, they're trading move for move here. It's all a matter of who's tougher, who can kick out, who can withstand the pain. Oh, the pain of that spine buster. Hurt Woo. like the Dickens, and so does that signature SB shooter, which SBK has locked in directly in the center of that ring. I tell you what, I blinked and I missed him stepping over on that one. It's like a whole new move just generated before my eyes. It was so fast, I could scarcely call it here. Blackwood has nowhere to go. Fighting, scratching, crawling for those oh, ropes. nice. And he finally gets it. Good ring awareness, good upper body strength to get out of that SP shooter. I think if he was uh, further away from those ropes, could have been tapping right there. Yeah, but here's the thing. He might not have tapped, but how much damage was done to his person? How, how much more beaten up and worn down is he after that? Oh, look at that. He was maybe thinking key crusher there, but not to be. Up and over. Nice oh, little counter sunset. sunset. Oh, he's not done. Look at he's trying to do something. Maybe a leg submission, perhaps. Yeah, maybe a clover leaf of his own. Very signature to that SB shooter. Here we go. He's going for it. Look at this, Jordan. Oh, he's got it locked in. He clenches the clover leaf. And my, look, my how the turntables, Brian. And look at how far he's sitting back there. That's a lot. That's a very, very bent back. That is a lot of torque, my friend. That's right. Oh, you ain't. Oh, you ain't kidding. No. And further away from the ropes. That could be it. SBK oh, nice. finally somehow, some way able to get to those ropes. I thought once Blackwood brought him back to the center of the ring, that was all she wrote, but not to be. SBK finding that second win. I like how Blackwood kept the hold locked in for just a few seconds, really utilizing that five count to his advantage. That's smart thinking. And Kevin go. Blackwood here with smart thinking of his own. No, instead up and over from SBK. Blackwood, cranium meets stomach here. Now at the top rope. Look out. Thought double foot stomp, but nobody home. Oh. There was somebody over that kick, though. No, oh, dropped him. Brain buster there, leg hooked. No, only a two cow. Man, you want to talk about fighting spirit? You see it personified in SB Kento. And I think Kevin Blackwood, he might not have gotten it seconds ago, but he's going to get it here. Double foot stomp oh. lands every single inch of that leg hooked. That's all she wrote. Blackwood puts away SBK. This was a much needed victory for Kevin Blackwood here. He lost to Alex Shelley, he lost to Alan Angels, he lost to Frankie Kazarian, and yes, he lost to Kanosuke Takeshita. He needed this victory more than, dare I say, he's ever needed a victory in his life, and earn it he did. There were times in this match, Jordan, that I thought we were looking into a mirror. Mirror images these guys, trading shots, trading holds, trading suplexes. In the end, though, Kevin Blackwood winning the day and it all came down to who wanted it more, who was tougher, and we got our answer here, and look at this. A little show of respect here. Well-deserved show of respect between these two warriors.